Today we're going to be looking at these little uh, radio frequency receivers and little remote controls that we can communicate with them. We're going to hook it to an Arduino and um, at that point I can press a button on this. The Arduino should see that and based on the code on this I can set it to whatever I want the Arduino can do. So let's have a look at that. Well the first thing you want to do is obviously install the Arduino interface. I'm running Arduino 1.6.9. Uh, if you're running an older version uh, things might be a little different and in the future if they change things things might be a little different. But as of right now um, you're going to want to install that and then check out the link in the description. It should have a link to my GitHub page, uh, my hardware projects, and download that. And then inside the Arduino interface, uh, go to Sketches, Include Libraries, and then go to Add Zip Library. Then go to wherever you downloaded uh, the project to, and there should be a folder called Libs. Click that. And in there, there is a zip file called rc-switch-master. Click OK, and that should install the needed libraries and examples. So at this point, uh, you know, make sure you have your proper board selected. I'm using a, an Uno clone here, so I have that selected. Then go to File, Examples, and then in the list down here, whoops, you'll see one that says... RC, Radio Control Switch Master, with a little over there, <laughs> with some examples. And we're going to look at the Receive Simple. So go ahead and click that. That's what I have open here already. Next, we're going to wire, want to wire things up. Now, you're going to need yourself a receiver. Now, you can get little receivers like this. Let's see. This one's a transmitter right there. And this one's the receiver. This is what we're working with today. You can get them as a pair for two or three dollars on eBay, maybe five dollars on Amazon currently. So, how do you know? Now, these come in different frequencies. If I turn this over, you'll see on the back here that you have options for uh, when you purchase it. You can't change it. Well, you can't change it easily without when you per after you purchase it. But you can get them in 315, supposedly 333, I have yet to see those, or 433. Now you notice this one has a dot next to 315. That's because it's 315 megahertz. This one here is a 433, but they forgot to put the dot on there. I know it's a 433, one because I ordered it as a 433, but it comes with a matching transmitter. So the transmitter, the way you can tell, is right there, if I get the angle just right, you can see that says 433. So as long as you keep them together, even though that doesn't have a dot on it, I know this is 433 because those two go together. So I'm just going to grab one of those two and I'm going to hook it up to our Arduino here. Actually, I want to show you our pins here real quick. You have four pins here. You have to the right your VCC, and as you can see at the top here, this is a 5 volt, so you're going to hook that to the 5 volt on your Arduino. Far left is ground, in the middle there are two pins, both that say data. You can hook to either of those, it doesn't seem to matter which one, I don't know why there are two, um, but hook to either of those. We're going to go to pin 2 on the Arduino. So let's go ahead and get this one hooked up. So again, we're going to go 5 volt to the VCC, ground on the Arduino to the ground on the pin, and then pin 2, digital pin 2, to either of the data pins on this. Now we have that, I can go ahead and upload our program, our sketch. Now, this example sketch, the way it works is that you can receive the information through the serial port on your computer. So I'm hooked through USB to the Arduino, and you can see right here that this code is set to uh, 9600 um, baud rate. So I'm going to hit uh, Control shift m and that opened up my serial communicator here. And at this point, I can pick up one of my remotes. So now I have uh, a couple different remotes here, right here and here. And when I click a button on one of them, so I'll try this one first, nothing. This must be uh, 433 because I think we hooked up to 315. So let me click this one. I'm going to hit uh, this button right here. There we go. And we get a readout. It gives you the value of the pin, uh, the m number of bits, and the protocol. So this one, uh, that particular button, gave out 
89,356 as the number. So I can program the Arduino to do something, turn on a light, communicate with the computer, uh, move a motor, do something when it receives it on that. So if I click different buttons, so I'll click this one, you can see it's different numbers, that one or this one, you can see they're all different numbers. Now, again, this one didn't work because this one is running on a different frequency. Again, we've hooked up the 433 and this is a 315 remote. So, now hopefully you watched the previous video in this uh, series I'm doing. If not, there should hopefully be a link in the description to it. If not, it was probably last week's video. Uh, on how to determine what uh, frequency certain controllers like this remote work on using the FCC number and in a future video we're going to look over using a USB dongle to monitor uh, presses so I just switched out again these two look the same but this was the three this is the 433 I just hooked up the 315 yep so 315 so now I'm going to take this remote and I'm going to press a button on it and let's go back so right there you can see that last number uh, is a bit longer and it's not longer because it's on a different frequency it's a, it's a bit longer at least I don't think it is uh, because that's just how the remotes can, can uh, programmed so I can hit different buttons on it and it gives out different numbers like that now if you've been following this series uh, one of the main uh, things I've done with this is that I've purchased Zap Outlets. So that's what this remote came with. Now, I'm not promoting the company, it's just a really cheap way to control your lights. I used to use a, uh, a plug, a smart plug that actually ran Linux that I was able to get root access onto and create my own web interface for. Um, but those were $20 a pop. Uh, these Zap Outlets, and they're not the only brand, uh, but I got this on Amazon. I got five of the outlets with two of these remotes. Uh, for 20, 20 to 25 dollars. So we're looking at less than five dollars an outlet. And it's great to be able to control them through these remotes, but I want to control them with my smartphone, which I showed in the previous video, the web interface I made. And I actually have done this, but hooked up, um, well this is a receiver, but I hooked it up with a transmitter to an ESP, which if you watch my channel, you know what an ESP8266 is. Um, so next week I'm gonna give you a, a look at that. And again, so now I went from before I was using a Raspberry Pi, which a Raspberry Pi you're looking at, you know, if you count power supply, SD card, uh, the Arduino, or I'm sorry, the Raspberry Pi, the uh, Wi-Fi card for it, uh, the amount of time it takes to boot, plus the, the wireless transmission card, you're looking at 50 bucks easy. I have this set up with a $3 ESP, a $1.50 transmitter, and the wall plug is a, is a $3 USB charger. And I'm able to control, right now I have three sets of lights hooked up in my house. I can control them without that, with the remote that came with it, but I can open up my phone and with a nice little interface, or my computer, wherever, anything that has a, uh, a web browser that's on my local network, uh, theoretically I can do it from anywhere in the world. Right now I have it set up on my local network. Um, I can turn the lights on and off. So we're going to be looking at using the transmitters. Now if you want to play with the transmitters, that example code that I showed you uh, came from the library. There's example codes for transmitting and it's very basic. There's three pins on the transmitters. Uh, you do probably want to add a little antenna on there, which I'll talk about in the next video. Just a little piece of wire, uh, a couple of centimeters long, um, and it extends the range because the range on these are horrible. They reach across my house, but not much further than that, um, which is all I need. So anyway, if you're enjoying this, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Check out the links in the description to my GitHub page where you can get this, uh, this code. Uh, I'll also have you know code from most of my projects on this channel are there. So check out that link in the description. Check out the previous videos if you haven't on this topic so you're all caught up. Um, uh, also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. If you like my videos, you watch them a lot, think about becoming a supporter, even a dollar or two a month. Really, really would help. Um, and if you can't do that, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, if, you, if, you, if you can't be a, a regular supporter on Patreon, uh, which there are rewards on Patreon as well, think about, uh, I'm pretty sure I have a link, at least I used to have a link on my website to my PayPal account. And I actually use my PayPal account uh, for buying little little things like this for this channel. That's like my budget for this channel. Uh, so if you want to give a one-time support, there's there. 
Think about uh, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Those things help out a lot. Especially the sharing. More views, the better. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Check out all the links in the description.